as President Yoweri Museveni approaches three decades in power, his members are demanding for a successor. According to sources at the ongoing NRM party caucus retreat at the National Leadership Institute, Chang Kwansi, Museveni was put to task to name his successor or allow internal space for other interested members to seek the top leadership position. MPs told the NTV that it was the outspoken Remyaga MP Thirodo Sechkubo and Bunyole MP Emmanuel Dombo who raised the issue of Museveni's succession. The MPs reportedly told Museveni bluntly that since the constitution is very clear on the age of the president, he should name his successor before the end of this five-year term. It's a fact because of two reasons. First of all, we have a constitutional bar. The constitution provides for 75 years limit. Sooner than later, um, that age limit will be reached. That's one. But also secondly, uh, nature takes its course. Now, what nature we know can take its course, are you or even President Seven is fallible. And being a fallible person is normally and that's why we must be prepared for that. And it must be clear in those terms. That's why I think it is a, uh, it is now than ever before than such an open discussion should take place. According to MPs who did not want to go on record because of the sensitivity of the matter, Museven, who is the party chairman, did not want to give any comment on this matter, but brushed it aside and asked his presidential adviser, David Mafavi, to reply. Mafavi reportedly told the MPs that Museven was still energetic to lead the country and that members who want to take over from him should be patient. Though debate has raged about succession, Museven has on several occasions been reluctant to comment on it. But in the queue, according to analysts, are the Prime Minister Amama Mbabazi, General Kahinde Otafire, Rohagana Rukunda, among others. This matter has created internal intrigue within the party, which scholars say, if not handled in time, might be regretted. Agnes Nandutu, NTV.